Well, the two words will describe the role of the cops in the 60s, conserve and preserve. Uh, and that's what they're there to do. Uh, one day they're asked to arrest abortionists. The next day they're asked to arrest the people who are trying to prevent the abortionists from committing abortions. Well, they're there to conserve, and they're figuring, where is it all going? Where is it all going to end? Uh, society has assigned us to maintain order. What is the function of the police? Uh, prevent crime, detect uh, and arrest offenders, preserve the peace, enforce uh, the laws, and protect life and property. Order, the maintenance of order, the conservation of the society, the preservation of the status quo. In the meantime, society is giving it a lot of different subtle assignments. It is saying, keep the poor invisible, keep the blacks out of sight, keep things under control. We don't want our downtowns uh, full of graffiti and riots and disorders. Keep them in their place and don't tell me too much about how you do that. Well, that's a very tense message for the police. You create a Praetorian guard. So the, the, the analogy that fits is Rome, Praetorian guard. And then, of course, the police become hermetically sealed. They have a lot of power and they begin to use that power. And he reached the, the apotheosis, I think, in Chicago, Mayor Daly, 1968, a police riot. What was the riot? The, the, suddenly, the uh, American citizens were watching cops running amok. Well, who was kidding whom? They were doing that all the time everywhere. It's just now it, it was striking at, uh, at intellectuals, middle class, whites, political activists instead of blacks, Hispanics, and people in the ghetto. The cops have been doing that all the time. So what was happening to the blacks was perfectly, but once you do it to whites and intellectuals and people involved with the Democratic Party, it becomes a police riot.